Yeah. Oh, so God, Master, coming at you with a very different type of thing on the channel. Very different, brand new thing I'm doing called the anime fighting game news segment, or just the FGC news segment. Basically, just is, and I said this in my last video, the Mortal Kombat one that I did. Basically, this is just a segment where I can talk about a lot more than just one game in one video. So, like, basically, like, you know how evo just passed so instead of me talking only about the one thing that happened at evo in one video and you know i can go into a little tangents every now and then it's like nah what if i wanted to just address everything in a more professional kind of setting where sitting here on obs recording with this overlay with this background with this little third uh lower third right here custom made uh but when I custom made them, I, mean, I didn't make this lower third myself. I got this off Google, but I changed some things and I made it specifically for me. And basically, this is just like my way of talking about news and getting out a lot more about a lot more things that I can't cover in one video or don't want to dedicate to one video. So like, reason I made the Mortal Kombat one, I'm still going to talk about a little bit of Mortal Kombat stuff here, but that video was specifically because Mortal Kombat is one of the franchises I care about the most. This can be like for stuff like Tekken in other franchises that I'm not as passionate about and I don't just want to dedicate one video to or say for example you know how there are times where we might get news about a fighting game but we don't get videos and stuff and I've said this before I don't like to just make videos like Twitter videos just talking about it without something substantial whether it's gameplay or something to put in the video behind me talking so in this way I can kind of do more of that talking about stuff that not is gameplay i could talk about maybe balance patches and stuff that happen here if i don't have uh not balance patches specifically but just as an example stuff that doesn't come with gameplay or stuff that might not be worth a whole video on its own but thrown together with a bunch of other stuff could make a very entertaining type video so that's what basically this is and before i get into basically talking about what happened at evo all the stuff that got announced literally um the day I'm recording this, this is November, not November, August 8th. Um, we just hit 200 subscribers literally this morning. Like I was going to record this a little earlier because I was up early and I was like, let me record this. And then I looked and I was like, oh, we're at 190. What was it? 199, I think at that point, because I was at like 198 the day before. And then I and then I was waiting, looked again and I was at 200. And I was like, oh, so this turned into an unexpected 200 subscriber video but like i wasn't expecting this to be at all this was not supposed to be it just now this aligns at the same time i got it but thank you all deeply from the bottom of my heart for 200 subscribers didn't think that i'd ever get here like 100 seemed like a outlandish um milestone to have but then to hit 200 unexpectedly like this is crazy it shows that y'all are really awesome and i appreciate it but now let's not waste any more time let's get straight to this actual news video so basically as i said before evo has happened what at evo are we talking about here well i'll try to have a little picture up on this side so that y'all can um have a visual representation of what i'm talking about the new undernight game undernight in birth to system celeste i'm gonna assume that's what the s s s y s celeste stands for system celeste Basically, at Evo, we got a new trailer for it. We got a release date for the game. So far, it's coming out early 2024. It will have rollback netcode and it's going to be on all consoles except for Xbox. So that's PS4, PS5, uh, PC, and Nintendo Switch. So that's all that it's like. Uh, that's all that we know about that game so far. They showed off some gameplay. If you want to go um, find that trailer, it's just Undernight in Birth 2. Um, fairly general stuff still looked like undernight it didn't look like anything just groundbreaking like they changed the whole game up from like my limited knowledge with melon to blood and blaze blue cross tank it looked like undernight so yeah not too much dare to change next on the list fatal fury got a brand new game which was surprising because the last fatal fury game i heard of was years ago so fatal fury city of wolves we got an elo trailer that's um just got announced like that game's still heavy in development or a near um uh, exact wording furious development so basically we don't know anything about that game right now we just saw a little bit of gameplay saw a little bit of what the characters look like them doing some stuff so there's not too much on that but any fatal fury fans are definitely gonna be happy about that now we got grand blue fantasy versus rising got a brand new trailer 
this is the final trailer for the game the game had got a release date and it's coming out november 30th which surprisingly a lot earlier than i expected didn't expect um it to be like coming out next year with how much they showed off and the open betas and stuff but didn't think we were getting it in november i guess that was a little bit surprising to me and some people so if you're looking for the green blue content i'm definitely gonna try to do that green blue the open beta and the closed beta that I played were fun and I enjoyed the game so I don't see a reason not to pick it up and at least play it for a little bit. It definitely seemed like a cool type of game. Then we got a Mortal Kombat video. Like I said, I'm not going to go too deep into that. Y'all yeah, can watch my Mortal Kombat video I put out yesterday if you want to see more about Mortal Kombat. Basically, we just got a few new reveals, some new characters, saw some different environments for the game. Some um, not as bright, sunny, you know beautiful looking environments a lot more of that like classic mk9 dark horror type environments we saw a little bit of um then we're gonna move ahead to tekken 8 tekken 8 got two new reveals they got raven and as they're sent is zucina i don't know how to pronounce her name but we got two new characters in tekken i'm not that big on tekken 8 so i'm not that familiar with these two characters when i told my friend who is like a tekken guy he was like oh they're adding these two characters so apparently these two characters in previous games were annoying let me know how y'all feel about them down in the comments below and then we're gonna move straight on to street fighter 6 ironically got aki who is coming out in autumn of 2023 don't know why i said it like that but yeah she's coming out in autumn so that is a whole thing on its own brand new character the street fighter cool then they had a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collab, which was completely out of left field. And when they were showing it, everybody probably thought that like we were getting them added into the game. And we were like, how's that going to work? But it's only costumes. You get their own um, their bandanas, you know, the mask that they cover their face with. You get those added. They're basically going to be like skins that you can put on so you can run through the uh, what is it called? The world tour and you can go fight people in the lobby wearing the suits and stuff so it's a cool little addition to the game just to i'm sorry hit the mic just a cool little addition to the game is something that was completely unexpected so a nice little surprise and then finally on the list for evo we have guilty gear stride now guilty gear uh i talked about in my last couple of videos and i might make a video on guilty gear later not about this reveal specifically since i'm talking about it here but if anything new like gameplay comes out because they normally show gameplay fairly fairly often after the character comes out or they reveal the character at least um they said that they were going to be starting season three and this is the first character for season three it is johnny and if you want to go watch the um reveal trailer you can but basically it was just johnny and they showed a little bit of gameplay off and the big thing i feel like for guilty gear was before they showed off johnny they showed off major gameplay changes i can't go over all of them because i wasn't like writing down meticulous notes on all of them in future um in future videos on guilty gear i might talk about the system changes that they made basically added some offensive changes in terms of giving you the ability to like dash forward and do an attack that wasn't in the game they added like a parry like complete parry you don't have to block high low nothing it automatically blocks that and pushes the opponent back so they added two brand new system mechanics offensive and defensively and a little bit more that i remember right now off the top of my head but they did add some worthwhile changes and if you're wondering season three will start on august 24 so we don't know all the characters yet but we do know that in total with johnny there will be three other characters so johnny and three other additional characters obviously some new stages some new music and all that extra stuff but season three right now only has three characters so or four characters in total so that's pretty much all the like big news i got about um so all the stuff that happened at evo there was a little bit of stuff with killer instinct but i'm not big on killer instinct and i didn't really look into it so like that one i, don't know, I might be being oblivious to but like i'm not a big ki guy i like watching it like i like watching maximilian play it so i might do that but besides that it's not really like too much about the killer instinct one i know about if y'all want to let me know down in the comments well i'll definitely look and give it a look i am like i said not trying to like disrespect hey i just not a big fan of it myself personally but let me know how y'all feel about this new segment thing trying something different have been thinking about doing this for a while i just was procrastinating on like actually setting it up to look like this uh to where i can have the animated fighting game backgrounds i gotta find more of these i only have two right now uh i'll show the next one off in the next video um the little news header right here i like this touch and hopefully if i remember to i'll add some pictures up here while i'm talking about the games and then you know 
just this whole little vibe of this gives me more of a place to talk about a lot more stuff that I might not talk about in a dedicated video. Or if I need to pile stuff into one video, this will be my new format and place to do it. But let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments below. We're going to keep this short. Since this is a brand new thing we're trying, I'll see y'all next time. Like, subscribe, subscribe for me. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Stop being bad. I wanna get money and chill by myself. I wanna spend money, my family need help. I need me a girl just to help with the stress. Somebody to care, this hair, this rare everywhere. My fault is heavy, this chain is heavy. I know they gon' hate me cause haters is plenty. I rode in an auto, love run out of Chevy. Those times were heavy.